Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shiny 3D Webinar. This is Henry, the account manager of Additive Manufacturing Solutions. Let me start with a brief introduction of our company. Shiny 3D was founded in 2004. We have been dedicating to the development of 3D digitizing and additive manufacturing for over 16 years. For industrial 3D printer, we have the models of SLA, SLS, and metal printers. But today, let me introduce you the DLP printer, Equifab D1. Let's have a look at the schematic of DLP printer first. DLP is short for Digital Light Processing. And the printer starts work by rolling the build platform into the resin fill tank with only one layer of height left between the bottom of the tank and the build platform. The UV light from the projector cures the resin, making a solid layer of a part. And as you know, there's another technology, LCD 3D printing, which is nearly the same as DLP, but still there are some differences between them. For example, the light source is the major difference. LCD cures the resin with the UV light coming from an array of LEDs shining through an LCD panel instead of a projector. They both can be used in variety of applications, and DLP can offer better stability and precision in the actual work, as a lot of our dental customers are using Equifab D1 to print the dental models and they are quite satisfied with our product. Now, here's today's content, including four parts, machine and material introduction, unpacking, software introduction, printing and post-processing. First of all, you may want to know the basic information of ECFAB D1. Here's the machine specification Print volume is 144 by 81 with height 180 millimeter. Accuracy is 50 micron. Material is open and compatible with third party materials. Let's take a look at the main structure. From the front, we can see the chamber door, build platform, resin tank, touch screen power button, and USB port. From the back, we can see the network port, power port. Material. So far, we have four resins, DM11, high strength and scratch resistant, OD01, high toughness, and high temperature resistant, SG01, transparent material and biocompatibility, DC11, customable material. Meanwhile, our Andy team is developing more kinds of materials. Then next, let's unpack the machine to know more details. Let's have a look. Okay, and a couple of days ago, our application engineer, Sheldon, printed some samples for our customer, and we recorded the process. I will show you two videos of software process and printing process. And first is the software.
okay then is the printing process okay so now let's turn on the printer we press the pop button and there should be a beep sound okay now it's turning on and also there will be some uh, initiate uh, actions here you know from the axis okay now it's finished Okay, as you can see here, we have four blocks here, which is for local print, network print, and settings, and about. So now let's try the local print. I'm going to insert the uh, thumb drive with the file I already created by our software. Now let's click local print and USB device. And the file, test. Okay, and there's a print wizard here because now the um, printer is well prepared so we can just skip. And as you can see here, we have the uh, print uh, preview of the current layer and also some uh, information of the print process such as how many layers and how much time that does it need to finish the print. Okay. Before printing, I will mix the materials first. If you place the material for a long time, there will be some uh, separate. And then we click print. As you can see, as you can see, now platform will go down and start printing. Here I open the chamber door just for showing you. During the daily use, you have to close the chamber door during, during printing. Okay, so now print is finished. We click back and then the platform will rise to the top position so that it will be easy for us to remove the part. Then we will use a sharp tool to remove the part from the platform. Then we will put the part in, in the ultrasonic, then clean it. Then we will use compressed air to dry the part. Okay, so now we got the dry part. Now we will put them into the fast cure, the curing unit from Shiny Baby. Then we adjust the post cure time and press.
Okay, here are some samples we printed with Equifab D1. This is a fixture for printer, pipe, mask, turbine, and so mode. This is phone holder, test swaps and holder. And for entertainment, garage kits, and jewelry. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the webinar. And if anyone interested in ActFab D1, please send email to sales at shiny3d.com. Thank you. Now is the Q&A part. Our engineer is here to answer your questions.